Hi there folks, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Um, today I went through some programming and this is the short video, short version, where I want just want to explain what I did and how I did it. So if you want to look into the deeper, the deeper rabbit hole, it's uh, there's a longer video out there. Uh, but this is just uh, the summary. But um, yeah, also the summary has to have a little bit dedication to our channel name and as I set up in the first video a wonderful wonderful cup of tea and I just show that to you once more because it's such a good a good tea oh, it's my favorite tea is it it's it's called Ange Anshi Yulu Anshi Yulu do not pronounce it like I did in China Anshi Yulu <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what the heck you are talking about. It's Anshu Yulu. But I'm not quite 100% sure if that's the correct term. But it's at least better than Anshu Yulu. <laughs> so Anshu Yulu. Perfect tea. So in this case, grab yourself some tea. Oh, that's, that's heaven. That's heaven. All right. What I did. Um, here on a spreadsheet. You have a file, a CSV file, like this one here. And this CSV file contains of two columns. And those two columns are ID values <laughs> and value values. So IDs and values. And you want to find the ID and the value where the value is maximum, where it has its maximum. All right. So, and how you do that, the algorithm is you iterating through each line and look if the current max is bigger than your actual max, what you found so far. So you have two variables, id max, which indicates the id of the maximum, and value max, which indicates the value of the maximum. And at the beginning, the id is zero and the value max is minus infinity. And for each row, you go through there and check if the value is bigger than your current value max. If that's the case, you insert it. How that's done in the code, let me show it here. So I prepared um, a, a text file. So this is it. And I also can show you the Excel where this comes from. This is this one. And I printed here the maximum. So 9.8 is the one we are looking for. And the ID, well, that's the program. Uh, we can do that in Excel, but I'm not quite sure how. It's, it's, I think it's called svavis in Germany, but who cares? Well, you have this text file and you have your Python script, which is this. And I will be going through that and explaining that to you. So we will, will be using just, yeah, Python tools. No, nothing, NumPy, no pandas, just the standard tools. CSV, which is used for CSV reader. And math, which is used for just defining the, the minus infinity. You could also do that with another function, I think float and then minus infinity, but yeah. All right, so what's happening here is we have a giant, a gigantic with block here. And this is good because in the with block, the file is opened, but it's closed immediately after. So you don't have to worry about file closing operations, something like that. So with open values.csv, so the file is opened and named here a CSV file. You get the inputs or the the, the, uh, yeah, the thing which what's in the file by choosing here csv.reader. Um, you have the file here. The delimiter is the character which separates the columns. You can see that here. So in this case, it's a semicolon. And you have your line count, which is zero. Then the two initial variables, id max, zero, and value max is minus infinity. Now the fun stuff begins. For each row, in CSV reader, in this case, that's just the file. If the line count is zero, that's the first line. We just print the column names R, yada yada. And because that's because the first line is just a string line. There's no actual values here. And if that's not the case, so else, we print something different. We just print our ID is and our value is. And we're using f strings, which is pretty cool because you can in, in f strings you can mix strings and also your variables. Just put them into curly brackets. That's pretty cool. And for each way we have two 
increment the line count because else we would just stay in the first loop and that's not nonsense. And in the second uh, run here, in the second um, case, we are not in the first line, but in a value line. We want to see if row one is bigger than value max, which initially is minus infinity. So it will be the first one value will be bigger than minus infinity. And then ID max and value max will get assigned the values from the row, first column, that's the ID, and the floating, uh, the floating uh, conversion of the value. This is important. Why? Because if you do not convert it to a float, you know, cannot compare it here. And that's the whole thing, because you cannot compare text with text. What's bigger, A or B? You don't know. But if you convert text to floating points, you have uh, the possibility to convert it. And at the end, you just print out how much lines you processed and what's the ID max and the value max. So give that a go. And you see, here's all the printout. And at the end, max ID is 188. And the value max is 9.803, which is the same thing as here. So job is done. And for maybe a question, what do you think? How could you modify this code that you can find the minimum? What have to change? Uh, think about it and maybe leave a, a comment if you want. And yeah, we'll be happy to see you in the next video. Goodbye until then and happy tea drinking. See ya.